Oh, hello there. Good morning, everyone. So where are we off to today? We are off to Cinque Terre. We'll show you how to take the train and go around all of them. Oh, cool. I love Cinque Terre. I know. Cinque Terre is so much fun. Let's do it. See you later, guys. The gateway for Cinque Terre is the city of La Spezia in the Liguria region of Italy. The five villages of Cinque Terre are Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Corniglia, Vernazza and Monte Rosso. To visit the Cinque Terre by train, you should buy the Cinque Terre card. You can buy the card at the Cinque Terre National Park office in La Spezia. This card allows you to take unlimited trains, buses, all the paths and access to all the washrooms in the Cinque Terre. You can buy the Cinque Terre card for one day, two day or three days. Also, remember to write your name on the card to validate it. On the back of the card, you can find your username and password for the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, folks, we made it on the train, and right now, where are we going? Next stop is going to be Monterosso. Now, why are we going to Monterosso? Because it's the further one. It's the furthest one away. Of the so Cinque Terre. Exactly. So right, so then we can make our way back to Vernazza. Vernazza and the then, second next one, and, and then, then Corniglia. And then we're going to do Rio Maggiore. Yes. And Manarola last. Wow, it's going to be quite a long day today. It's going to be. Goodness. Well, maybe we end up having, for, maybe we have a nice dinner in Manarola then. We will. All right. So we're here at the beach in Monterosso. As you can see, it's actually, you know, we're headed in, we are in October actually, and people are swimming. And I didn't bring my swim shorts. And Monterosso is actually the only one of the Cinque Terre that has a nice big beach. All the other ones are very small beaches and has a nice beach with umbrellas and Latini, as you can see. Well, folks, after you get off the train station in Monterosso, you can take this little tunnel here and walk five minutes and get into the old town of Monterosso. Monterosso is the, one of the five terre, or the Cinque Terre. And little fun fact, the Cinque Terre are very small and very close to each other, but each little town has its own dialect. And the dialect is kind of a special language that is spoken only in these towns. Kind of fun, eh? All right, so I'm about to take a couple of bites of this focaccia here in Monterosso. And what it is, it's kind of like a super thin pizza with some cheese and local pesto. Let's see how good this is. This is like super soft and fresh and cheesy. It's just incredible. And we're back at the train station to go to the next stop. It's Vernazza. Follow us. All right. Now, if you find yourself uh, in Cinque Terre, one of the problems or one of the challenges here with the infrastructure is that elevators are so few and far between. And when you do see one, it's you can't really count on it because oftentimes they're out of service. So what I would say is that if you were coming to Cinque Terre and you had mobility issues, maybe the train isn't the best idea. You might want to take the Aquabus uh, or maybe a taxi. Well, we reached the second of the little town, it's called Vernazza, and it's very famous for these towers above the ocean. So let's go take a look. So 
So you might ask, what's uh, the main industry here in Cinque Terre? Well, no, of course, number one is tourism. Number two is wine. As you can see, there's a lot and lot and lot of vineyard up here. And as you can see, these vineyards are built on terraces, built with dry walls, like one of these. And apparently there are more than 4,000 kilometers of dry wall here, here in Cinque Terre. They're constantly restored and kept up like this. They're called dry walls because there's no cement in these. Another way to explore Cinque Terre is by walking. And there's lots of paths like this one that connects them all. And this one, for example, goes from Bernazza to Monte Rosso. And it's three kilometers, 438 meters from here. So if you happen to see one of these little, little kiosks, they're actually checking for your Cinque Terre ticket. So if you forget it, you're not going to be able to come in or you might have to pay. So another value for this Cinque Terre ticket. Go ahead and get it. Another little tip when you're in Cinque Terre, wear very comfortable shoes because you're going to have to walk a lot. Now, one of the most famous things about Vernazza is the fact that they make fried anchovies. Now, don't tell me you don't like anchovies because Yes, you will like these anchovies. And here we are at Trattoria da Sandro. And I actually had the pleasure of eating fried anchovies with my mother. Hi, mom. And my mother said, I don't like anchovies. Well, guess what? She loved them. Oh my God, it's hot out here. Guys, if you guys come to Cinque Terre, one thing I've got to tell you is dress very light, very light. And if you think you're gonna be cold, maybe take a backpack with some, some, like, you know, pair of shorts or something. Because every time I come here, I always say the same thing, it's so hot. All right, so what are we doing next? Next to Cornelia, the only of the Cinque Terre that is not on the ocean. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let's go back on the train. All right. Well, folks, we arrived here in Cornelia, and um, as we said, Cornelia huh? is the only one not on the ocean. And you have two ways to get there. One is to take the little bus, which is included in the ticket. Two is a uh, ramp of stairs, like 300 and odd steps. So, you decide. Today, I'm taking the bus. It's so hot. <laughs> we made it to Cornelia. Yes, it's a little hot. No air conditioning on the bus. But we have found a nice little place to stop for granita. Uh, granita. And for those of you who don't know, granita is like a shave ice from Hawaii with lemon and it's delicious, it's delicious and refreshing. refreshing. So how's the granita? Tart. It is very tart. Definitely. Actually, one of the things about Italian um, sweets in general is that they don't use a lot of sugar, certainly not like they do in America. And it allows you to taste the flavors a lot more than uh, than what you might expect. Like this lemon, lemon granita, which is exactly like lemon. It tastes like lemon. Now, um, in an earlier video, one thing we were talking about was vegan options. Well, at this particular place, they have vegan ice cream. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can, I did it. <laughs> well, this is fun. So folks, you were wondering, uh, can I drive to Cinque Terre? Mm. And the answer is yes, you can. The problem, the roads are really narrow, as you can see here, and very windy, and most importantly, there's a big lack of parking. So 
parking here is a big problem. So better take the train or the boat. Yeah, the train is definitely, definitely the, the I mean, it's the, easiest. It's the easiest and the, the most guaranteed way to get to Cinque Terre. But although if the weather is good, I mean, you can just decide to take the boat. Either way, when you get here, you can make your choice on your own. You don't have to reserve in advance. And that's one of the great things about coming to Cinque Terre. God, it's so hot. Well, folks, we are going back to Rio Maggiore now on our trek to Cinque Terre. And this is a nice train. I'm really, really happy because it's got air conditioning. And it's so hot. I'm so hot today. Oh my god. <laughs> and by the way, you're wondering why we're going back to Rio Maggiore and not in Manarola, which is in between. Just because we want to be in Manarola last. Because we want to film a beautiful sunset in yes, Manarola. Definitely. The sunset in Manarola is one of the best of the Cinque Terre. And, um, and, and go for dinner there. That way you can see the sunset and, and enjoy it. And that's why we're going to keep it for last. Well, where are we? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> All those stairs, because it's so hot. <laughs> We're in Rio Maggiore, and next stop is going to be the last one, Manarola, one of the most famous and most beautiful on the Cinque Terre. And I think we're going for dinner as well. Yeah. Yes, the train ride was only two minutes and now we are in Matarola. And what are we going to do here? We're going to go for a little um, a stroll. A stroll. A train. Yes. go up the hill and take the beautiful photo of the sunset and then go for dinner. Is there a, is there a bus that takes us up there? No. All right. So we're going to go slow. All right. Come on, folks. Well, folks, if you come to Cinque Terre, you have to stop here in Manarola and just come up to the top and hang out here after sunset. That way you can look at this beautiful view because really there is not many places. There are not many places on this earth where you can get this kind of view. This kind of view. It's just so spectacular. Guys, if you come to Cinque Terre, definitely come by train. It is the best way to visit Cinque Terre. See you guys. Good night.